Should you quit alcohol or should you do moderation? I'm James Swanick, I help people quit alcohol. There's some free resources for you down below. Just go ahead and grab some of those. But I get this all the time from my clients and members of my 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, my Project 90 program. Should I quit or should I do moderation? So here's the thing. If you're thinking about doing moderation, then you're already or you're continuing to think that alcohol is something fun and joyous and something to be celebrated. It's not. It's a poison. And you're drinking attractively packaged poison. So in my opinion, just quit and be done with it. Human beings were not designed to drink this poison. We were not, we created it. We discovered it, we created it, and we started drinking it, and then all these problems started, okay? So, should you moderate? You can, if, if that's better than what you're currently drinking, sure, any reduction is gonna be better. But why go for moderation when you can just quit? I haven't drunk alcohol now since 2010, and since that time, I've lost about 35 pounds. I've got the body nature intended me to have. I got my dream job hosting a TV show, Sports Center on ESPN. I started, started two successful businesses. I've now helped tens of thousands of people quit drinking around the world. And I credit quitting drinking from giving me all of those things, for giving me the clarity and the energy and the focus to be able to accomplish those things. Now, that doesn't mean I'm successful just because I've done, done a bunch of stuff but I sure as heck wouldn't have achieved any of those things if I was still drinking. I would probably still be in a state of mediocrity, just kind of like coasting through life. But now that I'm in my 40s, probably looking back and going, wow, I've wasted a lot of opportunities. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you like gauge success by having built a business or made more money or any of those kind of things. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to achieve in life, whether it's attract a dream partner, attract a new partner, serve people, build a business, make lots of money, break up with someone, learn a musical instrument, travel the world, have freedom. Whatever it is for you that you gauge success to be, you are hindering your chance of, of achieving that with every single drink that you take because Drinking alcohol holds you back. Drinking alcohol leaves you in a state of stress, anxiety. It compromises your sleep quality, which leads to irritation, which leads to you snapping at your wife or your husband or your kids, not being present, not being focused, feeling foggy all the time. So people say, should I moderate or should I quit? Quit and be done with it. Just get it out of your life. Because moderation, well, okay, you're good moderate. You say, oh, all right, I'll only drink on weekends. Well, then you're still thinking that alcohol's fun. It's not. Oh, but I'll lose all my friends. You'll get new ones. <laughs> and you won't lose your friends either. You can keep your existing friends. There's lots of ways to socialize without alcohol. I've been doing it since 2010. Nobody will ever accuse me or has accused me of being dull. Trust me, I jump up and down, I dance, I have a great time. I'm energized, I get things done, I travel the world. And I'm not saying this is all about me and I'm so great and look at me and that's wonderful. I'm just saying, what is possible for your life if you quit entirely versus moderation? Moderation, whatever, just get it out of your life. Why do you want to do moderation? Why? It's like, oh, I want to cut the ball and chain around my ankle, but only sometimes. Actually, this weekend, can you please chain the ball and chain around my ankle? just for this weekend, I'd really like that. And then you're like dragging yourself like this through life again. Just cut it out. You don't need it. Yes, society is all saying drink this attractively packaged poison. There are smiling assassins everywhere. Your family and friends are always gonna want you to have a drink. But you're different. You see the matrix that society is in. You see that everyone's walking around going, oh, have some of this more, po have some more poison, drink some more poison. You don't need moderation. I mean, moderation is going to be infinitely better than whatever it is that you're doing now if, if your drinking is a serious problem. But quit. Stop trying to hang on to this thing. And I get it. Like, it's been with you your entire adult life. And it's scary to let go of that. What will you do? Who will you become? How are you going to fill the void? Well, oh, but I'm used to drinking at the end of every day. If I'm not drinking at the end of the day, what am I going to do? How am I going to fill that, that time with other stuff? with fun stuff, with building a business, with taking dancing lessons, with traveling, with taking, taking out a friend, going to a bookstore, taking up windsurfing, kayaking, whatever, learn a language, whatever you're into, everyone's different, that's the beautiful thing. 
What I'm into, you may not be into. What you're into, I may not be into. But do stuff, do epic stuff. Look at me, I'm in Bali for damn sake. I love being here, I choose to be here. I'm not doing moderation. I've got that poison out of my life. I don't think of it as fun. I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I have JOMO. <laughs> FOMO is the fear of missing out. I have JOMO, the joy of missing out. The joy of missing out on the poison that is alcohol that is holding you back. So let's not do moderation. Let's just quit and stay quit. There are resources down below for free that you can sign up to, you can download, you can watch to get you started. Forget moderation. Just quit and be done with it and thrive in life.